Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another what I eat in a day to lose weight. This is actually the first video that I'm filming in my new kitchen. If you guys are not subscribed to Molly's Life, that's my other channel. And on that channel, I talk about like the empty apartment tour, moving vlogs, updates, everything like that. So if you guys are interested in anything that has to do with me moving into this new place and seeing everything, definitely make sure to go check out the link down below to Molly's Life so that way you guys can catch up on those videos. But yes, we're in my new kitchen, it's super exciting. I'm gonna be showing you guys some awesome recipes in this video. Today's video is sponsored by Four Sigmatic, which they make drinking mushrooms and superfoods super easy and delicious. So I'm super excited to be working with them today. I've been using their products for a while now I actually did an unboxing about a month ago on my other channel and I've been using their products since then So I'm super excited to like finally share them with you guys on this channel So Four Sigmatic believes in the real magic of functional mushrooms and also other superfoods and they incorporate these into their drinks So that way we can live a well-balanced life So all of these products that I have right here, all you have to do is just add water to them They have mushroom coffees, mushroom elixirs, and mushroom soup superfoods and they make it just super easy to get your mushrooms in and also as a little bonus all of their products are organic vegan gluten-free and instant so what could be better than that they actually have a motto that life is better hashtag on shrooms every day which i think is hilarious so yeah i guess let's get into making my morning coffee with them and you guys definitely make sure to go check out the link down below it'll give you guys whoop, <laughs> my phone just went off but make sure to go check out the link down below it'll give you 15 percent off your order and they're also having a huge summer sale which i'm going to get into after I make my coffee while I'm drinking it. I'll talk to you guys about that. So here's the coffee that I use. Mine's the mushroom coffee latte mix. So I liked this one because it's a latte, so it's not just coffee. It has more of like a creamy taste to it. If you look on the back here, if it will focus, it says creamy plus coffee. And then it has all of like the benefits. So it has 50 milligrams of caffeine, which is awesome. Extracted mushrooms and everyday magic. So cute. I'm gonna use this mug today. It says I'm a lot cooler on the internet, which is a fact. You wanna do around seven ounces, but I add in a little bit of cold water so that way it's not like burning hot. And you add it in. There you have our delicious coffee. So I know what you guys are probably thinking that this tastes like mushrooms, but don't be afraid. I swear it doesn't taste like mushrooms at all. It is actual coffee. It's not just like a mushroom coffee. Like it's legit coffee that has mushrooms added into it and you can't taste them. It just tastes like regular coffee. So it has all of the extra added benefits, but it just tastes like your good old regular coffee. It actually tastes better than any other coffee I've ever had and what i love about this coffee so much is it has so many added benefits it can help with your focus creativity memory concentration it can even help with brain health it's literally the perfect thing because you can just take one of these packets with you to work or to school or wherever you're going to like study you can just ask for hot water anywhere and you can have your very own latte so typically what i do every morning is i wake up and i make my coffee and then i sit on this counter with a pen and paper and i write down my to-do list but today i will talk to you guys instead because i want to tell you about the awesome summer sale that four sigmatics is having so their annual summer better sale is happening right now so open your ears and listen to what I have to say because there are some amazing deals going on. If you guys have ever been curious about trying out the mushroom coffee, because I know I've seen so many other YouTubers try it out before and I had always been super curious or not even the mushroom coffee. I also have a chai that I love. I have an elixir that I love that gives me like a lot more energy. It makes me super focused. So if you guys have ever been interested in trying out any of these products, now is the time because you can get 60% off. Also, just you guys know if you click the link in my description box that's going to give you an extra 15% off on top of the 60% off discount that they're already having so make sure to use my link if you buy anything so that way you can get even more discounted prices and also that link offers you free shipping on orders over a hundred dollars so you're definitely going to get crazy deals if you click the link I don't know if it's because it's stronger than my like old coffee or what but it just tastes really really good so 
I highly recommend the coffee. One of my other favorites, just so you guys know before you like go on the website and check out everything, I'll tell you guys about my favorites. One of my other ones is the chai. The chai latte is so good. I love chai, especially later on in the day where I want to like a hot drink by my desk, but I don't want coffee again. This is a great alternative. And then their other thing, which is my personal favorite besides the coffee, I think for summertime is their lemonade mushroom mix. This is amazing. It's actually a charcoal lemonade. I just got a brand new one because um, they sent me two of everything. So these are my second round of uses. So this one's brand new, but it's really cool because it's literally like, do I see? It's jet black. I think it's so cool. So yeah, I guess now that I have touched on all that stuff, I'm just gonna sit here drinking my coffee and now I will write out, oh my gosh, Fendi. Hello, no, no, no. It is such a gloomy, rainy day out today, but I'm gonna try and bring some sunshine back inside and I'm gonna make a smoothie for breakfast. Okay, so here's everything we're going to need for this recipe. It's so simple as you guys can see. It actually worked out really well for me because the fruits that I wrote down on my list that I wanted to add into the smoothie all came in one bag at Wegmans. It literally was like fate. I saw the bag and I was like, this is everything on my list. I was just in complete shock. This is what I'm adding in. So it's pineapple, strawberries, peaches, and mango, and these are all frozen. In. Then I wanted to try out this new yogurt. Let's see if it'll focus. I have never seen this before, but I thought the packaging honestly was really cute and it has really low sugar. So I thought that that was really good. We have some chia seeds. This is oat milk. I would rather probably use like almonds or coconut milk, but this is an unsweetened coconut oat milk. So hopefully it'll work out well in this. And then of course we're gonna add in a ton of spinach because you can't taste it, so you might as well get your greens in. A fresh bag of frozen fruit for my smoothies. So you wanna make sure that you don't go overboard on the fruit because that can happen real fast. And then before you know it, you have like an entire bowl of fruit salad. This is probably going to make more than one serving, probably like a serving and a half, but I'm totally okay with that because Fab's here, so he'll probably have some as well. Next, add in a ton of spinach. Oh, I just dropped some, whoops. So you can't taste it. I know it's intimidating and you might not want to add it in, but trust me, you cannot taste it at all. Okay, this yogurt smells so good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in on top. Look at how pretty that looks, you guys. It's like so colorful. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so if you guys are in need of a good blender, this I will link down below. It's like the best blender ever. Okay, it's gonna get loud and my cat's gonna freak out. So at the last second, I just pop this little part open and that's when I'll probably add in about a tablespoon of chia seeds and then I'll just blend it on low really quick. So as you can see, it turns out like a nice green color, which is awesome. You don't wanna add the chia seeds in at the beginning because then they get all crunched up and they're not like doing their purpose. So make sure to add them in at the end at a low cycle. All right, you guys, and there you have it. This is my breakfast for this morning, a nice green smoothie. I've been obsessed with having this because it's something that I can drink while I'm at my computer and not really think about it too much. It's not like I have to sit down and eat a full meal. I can kind of just have it while I start my work day, and I love the taste of it so much. It tastes super tropical. Plus, the best part is you're getting in so many greens from the spinach, and you can't even taste it. It literally just tastes like tropical fruit. It's amazing. Amazing. So I highly recommend trying this out. But yeah, cheers you guys I'm gonna go ahead and drink this by my computer and I will catch up with you guys once it's time for lunch I have just been sitting at my computer for a while now and I'm super hungry So we're going to make lunch one of my favorite recipes recently has been buffalo chicken wraps 
they're so simple and so quick and easy you could make a lot of them or like a lot of the ingredients all at once and then just prep them the day of so they're super awesome quick meal and i'm so excited to make it i also wanted to mention really quickly that during the day i am of course drinking a ton of water don't forget to do that because it's super important for weight loss so i just have hot sauce banana peppers these are some awesome spinach wraps that i really like they're only 90 calories a piece and they have seven grams of protein which is super good i have green onion parmesan and romano cheese i'll just add like a little bit of that to the wrap i have some chicken breast tenderloins and some lettuce and that is everything that you'll need for this recipe okay so first things first i have freshly washed chicken in this little container you want to have something that you can put a lid on and shake it around because we're going to season this chicken a little bit right now first thing i'm going to do is take my kitchen scissors and stephanie macedo taught me this you just want to cut the chicken which it's literally so much easier to do it this way as opposed to cutting it on a cutting board you just save a lot of time okay so now that we have all the chicken cut up over here i have my little seasoning section so one thing i learned recently is you always want to use lemon juice on your chicken it'll keep it super super moist and delicious when you are cooking it on the stovetop so i add a ton of lemon juice i have black pepper sea salt and a little bit of this adobo lemon pepper seasoning so i used to go overboard on the seasonings but that just adds way too much sodium so if you want to make sure that it's like low in sodium and still good for you just keep it minimal add some lemon juice some salt and pepper you don't need all the seasonings all the time even though it makes it taste a lot better you don't always need it so keep it minimal keep it to this and you'll be good so once you have everything added in just put that lid on of whatever container you're using and then shake it up I can open this up with one hand everything in there is nice and coated and it's ready to go on the stove it's better if you do this and you let it marinate for like an hour or even more than that but if you have to cook it right away totally fine do you guys see how fancy these little olive oil containers are fab and i got these at the grocery store and we've just been obsessed with them olive oil to the pan so i just add about that much Whereas if you have like the whole olive oil container, you can easily pour like half the bottle in by accident. Then once things start getting pretty hot, you can go ahead and pour all of your chicken in. I just like to mix it around, especially right away with a spoon to make sure all the chicken gets a little bit of olive oil on it so that way nothing sticks to the pan. And like I said, you want to keep it on a medium to low heat because I've learned the hard way that cooking chicken on too high of a heat just makes it not taste as good. So I keep it on a low heat and just let it do its thing. Okay, y'all, I swear the prep for this lunch takes like maybe 20 minutes total. It takes like no time at all. But I literally just clean my kitchen scissors after I use the chicken and then cut up some freshly washed lettuce so that way it's all ready to go into the wrap, which is right here. I wasn't gonna add any type of like dressing to the base of this, but I'm kind of thinking that I'd want a little bit of mustard. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread that on top. And also, by the way, the chicken is cooking up so nicely over here. I swear the lemon juice, add it to your chicken. It is such a game changer. So once the chicken got to where I liked it, I added in a little bit of buffalo sauce into the pan. This is gonna make sure that everything stays nice and hot so that way the buffalo sauce isn't too cold on the chicken and it'll also help it stick to the chicken a little bit more. So I always like to do that right at the very end and I always turn off the heat before I do it. All right, so I'm gonna add all of the chicken into the wrap first. Just make sure it's all like laid out pretty flat. Don't wanna waste any of this. <laughs> then once I have that, I'm gonna add my lettuce. I'm gonna cut up a little bit of green onion. You guys know how obsessed I am with banana peppers, especially the hot kind. So I'm gonna add a bunch of those on top. Last step is to just add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. 
And then y'all know me, I love my spiciness, so I'm gonna add a little bit more hot sauce on top. This is a really good take on a buffalo chicken wrap that you could get at like a sports bar or something like that. It just, when you make it at home, you know exactly what's going into it and how much sodium and how much cheese and sauces and everything like that. So it's always better to make it at home. All right, I think I did an okay job. Here's the wrap finally finished after I, you know, attempted to make it look nice. Definitely make sure to let me know if you guys try this. If you love spicy food, this should be right up your alley because it's right up mine. So I had my lunch a little while ago and it's about two hours before I'm gonna have my dinner, before I start making it at least. So in the meantime, I love to have my lemonade. You're supposed to have this around two to three hours before you have a meal or at the beginning of the day because this lemonade helps with detoxing, helps with digestion and helps your skin. This is also great by the way for like the morning after like a weekend where you went out a lot and had a lot of alcohol. So I just have some ice in this cup right now and then it's so cool because it's so black. There's one and two then just go ahead and pour your water in and you have black lemonade i like to just mix mine up with my straw a little bit so that way it's all good and well it's seriously so refreshing and i think it's the perfect drink to have in the summer because who doesn't want lemonade in the summer but this has like none of the added sugar that all of the other lemonades have in it so this is the perfect thing to keep you on track in your calorie deficits but also enjoy a little sweet drink we're making chicken tacos for dinner i went ahead and did a little bit of prepping before i showed you guys stuff just to make the whole process go a lot quicker but for this the first thing i did was marinate some chicken so i cut it up into little pieces again the same way i did for lunch added a little bit of lemon juice and then i added on this spicy taco seasoning normally i make this recipe with ground beef but since we didn't have any and i wanted to use up some chicken that's what i'm going to be doing right now over here i have my favorite salsa screaming hot salsa some taco cheese i cut up our veggies right here so i have some onion that i'll use to cook with the chicken and then i'll also cook with the chicken some of these green peppers and red peppers lastly i have some corn tortillas you can use whatever kind you want you can also add whatever you want onto this if you want to have i don't know sour cream or guacamole whatever you want to have you could always add it on top i'm also going to be adding a little bit of rice into mine on the bottom as well you guys will see later so Keep that in mind, I just didn't show it because it's in the fridge, it's already pre-made. But yeah, now, really the only big part that I have to do is cook the chicken. So I added the chicken and the veggies into this nice big pan. And one thing I forgot to mention is I'm gonna add in, I'm probably gonna add in about a teaspoon of minced garlic because it just adds so much flavor. And then, and then after you mix everything together, all you have to do is just wait about 15, 20 minutes until everything's done. So I have the chicken cooking up in this pan over here, but then on this, pan all i did was just turn the heat up i'm gonna put it down a little bit now but just that way the pan gets hot and this is how i'm gonna put my little corn tortillas on just get them nice both evenly coated on both sides with the olive oil and wait for them to get a little bit crispy so about halfway through cooking these you want to just fold them in half over here i just wanted to show you guys i have some pre-made rice fab's mom actually makes this for us so i just put some in a bowl and i'll heat this up once the chicken is almost done but it's just white rice so if you guys want to, you can just make white rice. It's really simple. Okay, so everything is all done. I just set everything up right here. I'm only gonna make two for now, but I definitely made enough chicken for Fab as well, which is awesome. So yeah, I just have the salsa, cheese, rice, and what we made on the stove. And that's pretty much it. This is how the shells turn out, by the way when you put them on the frying pan i like mine a little bit crispy so that's why they look borderline burnt but now all we have left to do is assemble everything all right you guys so this is my finished dinner for the night this is gonna be so good i decided to make just two at first and then if i feel like i'm hungry and i can take a third one i'll make one but i think it's better to just make two and see how i'm feeling and then go from there if you guys make this please let me know you can always add like lettuce sour cream really anything guacamole Moly, whatever you enjoy you can add that on top so this is just what i had in my fridge that i wanted to add in 
and it looks and smells amazing so i'm so excited to dig in all right you guys so that is everything for my what i eat in a day today i'm literally making more tacos behind me right now they're so good you guys need to try them thank you so much to four sigmatics for sponsoring this video i was super excited to work with them you guys better go click the link in my description box to get an extra 15 percent off of your order and make sure to shop their summer sale you guys need to get some of my favorites that i recommended like the chai the coffee and the lemonade those are like my three absolute favorites and staples so make sure to click the link down below and check it out because you will not be disappointed but i love you guys so much i have so many more what i eat in a days coming this summer i am so excited about it so make sure to subscribe if you're not already like this video all of that good stuff and i will talk to you guys in my next video very soon bye